Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, Road to 56, the Thunder Dragon Empire, and we are at war with the Allies. And so far it's going quite, well, quite bloody well. Um, we have, well, we are basically pushing them back on every single front we have right now, and wait a minute. Who the hell just joined Dictatorial Xinqian? But they already were in our faction, but they're fascists now, but very communist, so I guess that's good. Uh, uh, complete thrown off right there. Uh, where the hell was I? Right. Um, yeah, we declared war against allies, and so far it's going pretty goddamn well. We are pushing in on most fronts, and uh, we're cleaning them up on most places where we had any kind of issue. Uh, we oh right 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 except this single one oh right 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 forgot about you for completely forgot about you but there we go India has capitulated which means we are pretty much completely fine right here uh, Pakistan is in the allies so we're gonna have to fix a lot well desperate defense right there I'm gonna take um, let's see do you have a special order yes you had I'm gonna remove your special order and put all eleven troops. Really? Really? I, I can't just drag it over right there? Are you kidding me? Well, whatever. All 11 troops of you are going to stand against Pakistan and defend any kind of advance that are coming from the west. Which shouldn't be very much, because Pakistan doesn't have a port or anything, and it's Soviet Union on the other side, so we should be good right there. Uh, maybe I don't need to assign these 11 troops there. Whatever. Uh, we are basically just going to engage in some cleanup activities right now. Uh, most of these troops should be barred from supply, from pretty much anything that will make them any kind of resistance. Sure, we still have the... Wait, wait, Pakistan suddenly joined the war now? But we, we, we went in there and took... Okay, I, I'm very confused right now of who we are at war with and who we're not at war with. Uh, anyway, let you guys get down right there, push down that division and finish this. Uh... There we go. Excellent, excellent work. So those two, two divisions, come on, two divisions down, two divisions there, uh, actually three divisions right there. Use that one to support yourself, so that should cut off all these English divisions from any kind of supply, that's going to kill them off. Uh, once we've cleaned up a bit more right here, I'm going to turn around and of course kill Pakistan as well. That's why we can't get a front line against them, because we're actually not at war with them yet. Damn it, Daniel. Damn, Daniel, why do you forget stuff like that? Because that's actually pretty goddamn important to remember. So everyone hold and everyone shuffle around right here as quickly as possible and finish off this. That would be lovely. Uh, we are also going to remove this bloody order and make everyone strategically deploy to your proper positions, please. Uh, there we go. You, my dear, dear, dear England, you are now surrounded here in a pocket of what was previously uh, Siamese Empire. Well... Unfortunate for you that you actually gathered up your troops right there. Um, please tell me that was not actually them joining the war. Good, it wasn't. <laughs> Let's see, we're going to gather up right there, set that up properly. Uh, Nepal, taking down your capital is probably necessary to do the last finishing blow of really making sure that you don't have any kind of supply. You are piercing my armor. Yes, you are. But you shouldn't have that much hard attack. Because we still have a reasonable amount of hardness, right? Oh, actually, no, we don't. Wow. I thought it was going to be higher than that. But uh, we're, we're fixing it. We're fixing it slowly but steadily. We're getting mechanized and we're getting better tanks. And that's only 300 days for a 45 tank. And I will definitely accept it. So about in 43, we will have those better tanks. That sounds excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, these guys are still shuffling around right here, trying to reach the western border. Very good. Uh, these divisions up here, well, you are, uh, well, those who are about to die, salute me, please. Thank you. Uh, you are shuffling around a tiny bit right there. Soon enough, we can strike it down. These divisions, well, you are no longer necessary right here. You could actually be used, should, should I use you right here? And just help. Yeah, I should probably help you take this down first before we do anything else. Uh, you can be unassigned from that. Actually, get assigned right there. That's probably good enough. Thank you. Move right there, you are moving down, and as soon as it's been cleaned up, we're gonna just pull those divisions right here, clean that up, and then as a last objective, we take down India. Then we can invade Afghanistan. Oh god, this, this is gonna be awesome. We are gonna get so much extra land. We have already received so much more extra land. So five more factories right there. I wanna bump up Mechanize by that much. I want three factories right there. I want three factories right there. But we're gonna 
greatly changed prioritization right there. We're gonna say hello, dear Japan, give me some more factories. And we still have over 15 right there. That's so, so, so awesome. Uh, we're gonna get a couple more civilian factories if I, well, if you would be so nice to give me those. <laughs> um, really, as every single factory right now built, since we have 0% consumed goods, it's gonna be just straight on more production capacity and since we have so much extra land we have tons of buildings i want to build so well the more civil factories we have the faster that's going to be built of course so well you can see my logic more civilian now greatly increased production capacity many more military factories quite soon so uh these lovely lovely tanks right now you are shuffling around right here to well eventually bring down all of these well english troops right there they are starting to lack, uh, well, they are starting to take very, very high attrition right now. As last time I looked at them, they were not the best divisions either, so they're going to take heavy dam. Every everything is now going great, actually. Like, I don't know if you understood anything for this entire episode, because I think I've been quite spread in thought. But, um, well, things are going well now. Things are going pretty goddamn good. So, um, well... That's, I guess, the summary. <laughs> if you summarize the entire situation, things are going pretty goddamn well now. Uh, we are mostly actually going to get all of Pakistan as well, but uh, yeah, that's only two military factory and two civilian. Nepal, how are you doing right now? Yeah, that's a lot better since we're going to get every single one of your factories. It's impossible for anyone else to get it. That's great. That's freaking great. Uh, how many do you, India have left? Uh, actually, nothing. Wow. Okay, never mind, never mind, nothing right there. Uh, both of you guys move in right there. These guys, come on, can't you be a bit more aggressive? Just clean this up. Yes, you can. Excellent. Now, just take both of them down. Thank you. Uh, how in hell are you still surviving that? Uh, please move over like this, if you can. Uh, let's see, we don't have any divisions up here. Well, we have division assigned to go there, but, well, they're so... We have we're so stretched out thin right now. We can't do that. Killing this will probably bring down the rest of Nepal. I hope, because well, you have a reasonable amount of divisions, and it would be nice to just have them wiped off the map. Right here, yeah, it's just time to kill kill them all. Do it. Uh, excellent. Do we have any mechanized? Yes, we have 150 of those. Still not good enough just yet. Oh shit, we're missing. Quite a bit of rubber. Uh, would be nice if I could actually get some. Ethio oh, Ethiopia. Wow. That's amazing. I... Wow. Well done, Ethiopia. And... Oh, wait. Have you received tons of Japanese aid? Oh. Wow. Are we going to see some... Ethiopian carriers? That would be amazing. But uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Wow. You really got some nice buffs right here. Holy shit. That's... That's awesome. <laughs> well done, well freaking done. So yeah, of course I'm gonna trade with you for that rubber. You're the, well, pretty much the only one I can do. Oh, I can do CMS Empire. So I guess if these convoys start to be raided, I'm just gonna trade with CMS Empire. But um, well, and if you can trade with Ethiopia for anything, you trade with Ethiopia, because well, they die. <laughs> they die quickly. So if they exist on a map for, to be traded with, you shall reward them and you shall trade with them. That's just the rule of Hoy, uh, which I just now decided. So, kill off that division, excellent. Now, the pretty much every single Englishman is now removed from the entire east right here. I think so, and we have just massively grown in size. That's really, really awesome. All of these tanks now hold your position and then move up to something more proper. Kill off all of that. We are building more civilian factories here. Very, very good. And uh, now, wipe out the last Englishman right here as well because you don't get any supply from, well, the capital of Nepal now. Uh, right here, do you get stuff? Yes, you do. And oh, Soviet Union is war with Pakistan, but not war with me. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's see, could we gather up all of these troops and attack right here north? I don't know. Like, I can't even see how many troops they have. I know they have at least three troops right here, but yeah, there is way too high decryption. Encryption for my decryption right now. Uh, come on, wipe that out. We are getting. Yeah, God, we are. We are we're on a roll right now. I can feel it. I can feel like next couple episodes is going to be really, really great. Let's see. How are we doing tank ways? We have 520 tanks. That's good. Mechanized, only 200. So, yeah, not as good right there. We're getting 12 tanks a day. We're going to need a hell of a lot more than that. Uh, let's see. We are, I think, actually going to pull down that to 4. Pull down 
this one to two, that one to two, and just everything is gonna be added right here on Mechanize. We need them now, not later. Actually, they're they're as expensive as my tanks right now, so we can actually see exactly how many. I want about 20, because we're gonna need a hell of a lot of them. Switching out all of you to Mechanized uh, right there would require about the same amount of factories. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's absolute crazy. But this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna increase our hardness then to 70%. We are gonna get more piercing, we're gonna get more armor, more breakthrough, more a lot more defense, some more hardness, some soft attack, more organization. Yeah, it's just gonna be a generally really nice buff to switch all of the Oh wait, and I've got to actually mention one of the best changes. We're gonna bump this up to 7.2. Uh actually let's see that I thought it would be slightly better than that. Having all of you on motorized, if I switch out that, please. Motorized, 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 not cavalry, motorized, 12, okay. Is it, yeah, right, right, the first mechanized is pretty bad with speed, 8. This is 10, that's 12, okay, yeah, so we're improving it, we're improving it, so just relax, Daniel, it's gonna be better very, very soon. And wait, you have a, you have a, so yeah, that's civil war right now. But both sides have zero troop each. Exciting. Uh, our side got at least one milled factory. So I believe I know who to win. Uh, could I join that war? You would not accept. Uh, could I send... I can't send you anything really. Uh, Expeditionary forces, maybe. Uh, let's grab this one guy. Uh, Expeditionary force, right there. Thank you. And now I'm going to grab... You're taking that one troop and hopefully moving back and just executing your, well, executing, removing your enemy right there. So you're one troop and one army. Yeah, use it well or I will kill you and I will do it. Uh, let's see. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, justify against Pakistan is no longer necessary because we're at war with them. But now Japan will most likely just move in and take it for themselves. Unit can enter pro- why? why wouldn't we? Are you? No, wait, you're not at war with me yet. But with, which war did you join then? The Pakistan. Oh my god. Uh, are we really gonna have to justify against them? I think we do. So let's just start that right away. Uh, regrouping, that would be nice. But I first like to begin with the defense one that I really wanted to pick, but I never got time to. Let's see. Uh, these, my lovely tank division, strategic redeploy, please. Is the supply right here fine and agreeable for me to do it? Yes, it is. So, very good. Fix it. Uh, we have five decisions. War Brigade against Soviet Union. Let's do it because I, I, I need higher. I definitely need higher. And, huh. We could actually give refuge to German and Italian citizen. Wait, Germany ruling party is not fascist? But, but. Oh, oh, my, my ruling party. My ruling party is fascist. So, yeah, that's why we can't do it. Uh, let's see. How about um, just um, accepting your loss, maybe? Uh, all my tanks need to regroup because they're still the only thing that actually have some kind of firepower for me. Using everyone right here to attack. Um, yeah, they're the only one that actually deals some kind of damage. But, um, yeah, just remove them from here and hopefully cut them off. Hopefully grabbing all of the, well, I guess, best areas of, well, nothing left, really. It's five slots. It's some slots I want to reach right here. Actually, it's probably the naval factories. And, well, I wouldn't say no to that, to be honest. So, yeah, please, please try to grab that city before Soviet Union, please. Uh, we're fighting there, fighting there. We're trying to breach there from both directions. But I don't know what will actually get there first. Uh, probably they, so let's do like this, just in case. Grab those tanks, attack, and now throw in the rest of the, rest of the reserves. Good, we're wiping them out. Come on, get in there. Get in there, grab that city, and finish this off. And we will actually... Wait, 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 we're at war with... No, no, we're not at war with them. God damn it, it really scared me there for a second. Uh, you want to send 17 expeditionary forces to help me? Yes, please. God, I, I yeah, I really approve of that. Uh, hello, 17 divisions, uh, or 13 divisions right now. I'm not going to use it for anything, really. Uh, could you please advance and actually take them down just the proper way? Because just, just go in and take that capital, and I would be very, very thankful. So you don't waste too much on my guy. Uh, well, all your 13 divisions... Oh, actually, you're using light tanks as well. 
Well, I, I don't really care right now whatever you divisions you sent. I am just gonna use your divisions as garrison because I'm that nice. Uh, let's see, we need to garrison this, we need to garrison that, that, this, this. Uh, let's see, anything more? Well, that's 18 divisions, so I guess we're gonna remove some of the stuff right here. In the Actually, what is this in Far East? One military factory, that's not even mine. Okay, let, let's just select everything we have right now, then can, I can just reinforce this for now. Uh, well, reinforce this for now, what, what the hell am I saying? I can just reinforce this army with more divisions. Uh, let's see, I think this is probably mine, and then it garrison that, garrison that. So 22 divisions, that's what you need. So I'm just gonna actually throw in that entire stack right there. Or I should probably do the other way around. Let's do like this. And then we are gonna mark out everything once again. Sorry about that, but yeah, that makes the most sense. Have the good divisions actually do this. Uh, let's see. Or the good commander. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, this one. Group up everything right here, and that's it. So, fix that, please. That's not mine, right? No, it isn't. Cool. Um, and yeah, we're moving in here as well. Come on, remove those divisions. And you're actually now attack... Oh my god. They will probably reach you before my divisions. They actually have some proper tank divisions, which means they're pretty goddamn much faster than me. Mexico declared... What? So you're in the allies now, Mexico? <laughs> what the hell, man? Th this 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 war is weird right now. It's just complete batshit and shit, insane. Uh, let's use a force attack right there. I haven't used it close as much as uh, as much as I should have, since well, we have 200 command points right now. So we should have been doing that like forever. And like constantly be just continuously using it, changing out, using it again, using it again, using it again. Just at any freaking moment when we were not using it. So come on, charge in right there. All tanks. Uh, okay, everyone stop. Everyone charge in. Come on, everyone. There we go. Much, much, much better. But now they're probably going to reach here before me. Yeah, they're... Or maybe, maybe, maybe that... Japanese cavalry division, come on, yes! But it was actually a tank division, I think. So cool, we managed to grab all of that. Which means my garrisons are now properly set up. And yeah, everyone just charging right now, wipe out the two lost areas, and we are good to go. Uh, whatever these divisions were, just come on, group together right now and defend everything. Strategic deploy to your proper positions. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy, things are finally looking quite good for me. Uh, let's see, factory output or tanks reliability, yeah, about that. Oh, you, really, you're calling back your troops that quickly? Well, I guess I'm just gonna build a couple one for myself then. I'm gonna take this vision, duplicate you, I'm gonna call you Gary Sun. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna change you out to mobile, not anti-tank gun, mobile cavalry 40, well, 40. That's quite a bit. Uh, then I'm gonna ignore that and not change out just yet. And I'm gonna produce additional 16. Actually, let's do it more than that so I can garrison my ports. Let's do 25 divisions. 25 lovely divisions, all of you assigned right there. And then I'm gonna mark ports and cities, hopefully. Yeah, that would probably be good enough. Actually, we can do that right away, even with the Japanese troops right now. Uh, but, well, eventually they're gonna be called back. I will just as quickly as possible deploy them. I don't really need them trained. I just need them out on the map. And wow, you still have a lot of divisions right here. You're dying. You're dying very quickly. But you are piercing my armor, which is bad. So, what I would probably do is I kind of discuss with myself right now. Um, depending on, well, not that one. Uh, this or this. Would be really, really nice to get that 15% more out. Put, and that's actually probably still what I'm gonna pick. I was gonna say, but I'm gonna pick this so I can, well, change out variants on my tanks and get them even better that way. But I don't know. I don't think you know. It's just experience points, really. And I think I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, no, we're gonna pick the factor output. Never mind, I switched. I changed my mind straight away. We're probably gonna change our mind once or twice more before this is over. But, um, yeah. Uh, right here, I was really, really sure I was gonna pick... Volkström, 
non-discriminated cons uh, conscription, werewolf grill. No, we might just go straight here and, well, make our tanks as good as possible. There we go, you called all of them back and these guys are very soon done, so shouldn't be an issue. Uh, these 24 divisions, I'm not 100% sure what to use you for. Well, you can become a winter specialist, sure, and so can probably you. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna grab my 14 tank divisions. You're gonna guard against Pakistan right over here. Well, guard, you're gonna, well, prepare for the push right there. These 24 divisions, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, right, of course I'm sure what to use you for. Uh, you can prepare the invasion of Afghanistan. Well, no, no, actually you're not. Damn it, I was not gonna change you. Yeah, um, you guys are not gonna do that because I want to use as quick division as possible because when I declare war against them, they're gonna join the Axis or the Allies, most likely the Allies, and then I need to be quicker than the Soviet Union to take them down. Hmm. So I'm probably gonna use changed mechanized, changed tank divisions for that. How, many, m how much do I need for this? I need 3,000. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah, that's if that's what I need, then that's what I need. Occupied territory right here. I hope I'm the harshest against everyone possible. No, nope. no, I'm not. Now I am. Uh, let's see. That's is lovely. That should have given us quite many more factories, I think. Four more factories right there. I, Yeah, right? Uh, let's see. We probably got... Well, we're missing steel right now, so... Surely we got something at least. Uh, we're just building more civilian factories right now. I think that would be very proper because I just... Ju it just hit me again that we can actually build steel mills, aluminum, rubber. We just need to research it. But god damn it, we have so much else to research right now. Like we have everything, we just need time. We just need some more time. But right now we need advancement. We need advancement and we need more units. Yeah. By the way, these light tanks. Yeah, you cost... You cost 10. So the mechanized is right now more expensive than the tanks. Ooh. Interesting. If I built only light tanks... Huh. That is actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> There, it's very cheap. Huh. If I just added more, another layer of light tanks right here. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's actually pretty goddamn good. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. What we can more easily do is... Let's see, so all of you are light tanks. How would it be with everyone as medium tanks? Um, this is level 1 medium tank, so it's fine. Okay. 576, 229, 142, and then you switch them back to all light tanks. We have more breakthrough, we have more soft attack, we have less hard attack. Oh, for God, God's sake, I forgot to check. Like, uh, I forgot to check... Um, I forgot to check uh, organization. God damn it. Sorry if you saw it already. It's the same organization. It's, I guess it's the HP that is the main issue. The HP that is really, really dangerous. If I added like one or two mechanized into this pile. Like I remove... If I add one mechanized, one single mechanized. Okay, two mechanized. That's, that's decent again. This is decent. But wow, really light tanks give that much breakthrough. I'm suddenly getting a hell of a lot more excited right now about this campaign. We are gonna do some ridiculous light tank build. So I think 10 factories on this will be actually kind of alright. Let, let's do 15 just in case. Like that's very much just in case. Um, no, we're gonna be 12. 12. So because we're gonna need motorized for this as well. 
This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be so much fun. Hello. Um, okay, um, light tanks. I want you to remove this, remove that. I want to right now add to mechanized. How much would that cost me? 900 more. Otherwise, we're pretty good. Uh, can we support the tanks? 1.6k more. Okay. We can almost, almost do this. That's really, really awesome. Uh, those 25 divisions, just deploy them right away. Come on, shuffle around right here. Get to your proper positions. And we can now add that we have apparently already added. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. We have a war goal against Pakistan in how many days? In just like 30 more days. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, rubber should be kind of fine right there. Uh, steel, oh, we're not getting enough from their little Japan right now. So we're gonna drag that down one bit. Uh, let's see, and we're gonna increase it by one from Soviet Union, I think. Ugh, yeah, we're only missing free steel, that's, that's fine, that's fine. And it's only for convoys, and that I don't really care about. Actually, we can even drag it down one more step. Yeah, we don't need to trade steel with them. It's only convoys, and yeah, right now I don't care about it. We have 400 of them, so we're good. Wait, really? It's something more as well? Come on! I was really sure it was only convoys. Uh, well, for that we can actually trade with then, Japan. Yeah, then we're good. Now it's only convoys. <laughs> so even if it's an unoptimal deal, I'm still helping my ally for now. So I'd rather do that than anything else. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, okay. Can we set up something more? for preparation for our glory days. Uh, this is right now at 50%, this is gonna be, in that case, eight. And we're just getting better and better mechanized, so it's gonna be even better. Oh my god, we're gonna get some good divisions. I'm hyped, I'm hyped as... Light tanks is the true path to greatness. Well, of course it's not, but... It's a nice twist on this campaign, and the better light tanks we get, the better it's gonna become. I, I wanna compare like modern tank free with modern ta light tanks. So, defense, of course, better. Uh, hardness, more hardness. Hard attack, more hard attack. And yeah, greatly different armor. Uh, fuel usage, much more fuel usage. Uh, a fair amount more piercing. A lot less speed, uh, more soft attack, more breakthrough. So pretty much it's better overall, but it's more than twice as expensive. And a lot more chromium expensive as well. Hmm. A couple of variant upgrades right there. Some more. Yeah, I think we can do this with light tanks. I think we can do it. And then really just try to overwhelm them with speed. Need for speed light tank edi edition. <laughs> God, we can do this. The Thunder Dragon Empire of Light Tanks. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so we have another war goal in 10 days right there. After that, we're going to transfer over right here. Just help clean up this very last part right here. Could we ask for territory right here? No, we definitely can't. You think we always have too much, but I've done more than you apparently. Okay, um, well, I guess it's because this is like claimed by you or something. No, it isn't, so maybe maybe, maybe we'd be fine. Uh, but this is controlled by me, which might be that this is actually going to flip to me. That's controlled by you, so if we go down and push right here, it's going to flip to me. This state is Japanese, but if we continue right here, push down... Yeah, actually, we might be able to grab even more territory right there. And there we... Finally freaking go S The Axis declared war against Soviet Union right now division wise Germany is gonna win this But we can always help out We can always help out Soviet Union. We just ask for military access and then we throw everything we got at that We can always help out we are at war with the Axis so as soon as they probably reach one of my borders, I'm gonna throw everything in, but I, I'm not 100% sure exactly how or when we're gonna go for this. So Germany is now at war with every single faction in the entire world. They are gonna die, but they are really powerful right now, so they might do really excellently in the beginning. Uh, and if they actually bring down Soviet Union, then, well, 
wow, I might be screwed very quickly unless these light tanks really are the chosen path, which I think they are. I really think they are. I think we can do something really fun right here. Let's see. Um, everything is fine right here. Uh, let's see. Resistance, yeah, everything is complete all right. Cool. Uh, we are right now doing <laughs> resistance suppression right here. We should be bumping this up a tiny bit right there by getting one more resource slot. Yes! Excellent. Cool. Uh, now, please just take down Bengal. Come on. And use all of these tanks. Just bring it down from all sides and direction. Uh, it's gonna be boss at any factories for me. Actually, two military factories right now, so that's good. Come on. Just bring that down. Take Dhaka. This is gonna be so cool, I think. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be... A very quick push. Oh god, Germany is also pushing like hell now. Wow, they're doing incredibly well. Uh, we are, but they're a bit stuck right there, so that's nice. Um, so if anything, we might have to throw in our entire. We, we need to get a larger army now. Stat, and then use the entire thing to just push in. Yeah, uh, we don't have time for this. We're gonna build one more right there. Uh, this can be repaired ASAP even before fixing that one. And then we just need military factories, as many mil military factories that we can muster, really. Uh, right there, right there, that's 60-60, that's 100%. You should go up there ahead of everything else. Cool, yeah. And let's see, we have five fact five areas to store right there. That's going to be a 70% one, so that's fine. This one I don't care about. East Bengal, that should also be, this is also a pretty good one, but we'll see about repairing it. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We need more factories, we need more military factories right now, and yeah. Huh. So, everything I think in this episode went pretty goddamn great. We have an idea, idea for the future. I'm, I'm so happy about this campaign, this is gonna be fun. I hope you think so too. If you like it, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.